Johnny, can you give this to Crystal, please? It's not Crystal's birthday. It's from Daniel. Oh, hey, you tell him to just leave her alone, all right? She's look, had he enough feels of... horrible. He feels horrible about what he said to her, and he just look. I told him this is it. This is the last piece of delivery that this male girl makes. Did he? Uh, did he wrap that himself? He did, in fact. That's pink. <laughs> huh? Rearing great kids. What do you think about that? Oh, geez, give me that book. Teach me something. <laughs> yeah, right? me too. <laughs> I had my first ultrasound today. Oh. So I'm just trying to reading about it. It was incredible. I mean, I know I know you guys know all about this, but like to see that little that little heartbeat going and the little little tiny umbilical cord, I mean, it's amazing what's already happened in five weeks. Like I'm it's really it's really happening. You yeah. Know? It's life, it's, eh? Yeah, it's it, it's, it's a miracle. You know, so I'm just I'm just reading because I'm I, 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 I just want to say uh, that I know you must be uh, overwhelmed right now yeah. with uh, just w what and questions and such. Feel free to ask me about anything. I mean, oh. I've done it three times. Oh, so hey, that's very kind. I would be brother. happy. I, 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 no offense, I hope, but how, how old is your oldest? 16. Daniel's 16. Oh, 16, yeah. yeah. I mean, things have just changed so much and since he was born that I'm, I'm just kind of looking at more modern techniques, but I appreciate it. Oh, Thank you. Old, modern, it's all the same. You know, once you got that eight pound monkey crawling out of you, oh. you're an animal anyway. You're an animal. What are you talking about? I mean, who knew that this whole thing would start out with chicken wings and beer? I mean, we've seen each other every night. Come on. Really? Come on. Oh, great. Enzo. I know. Hi, guys. Charlie. Hey, you met these two? Charlie. I remember you. Met you. And this is Hi, Nicole. Charlie. That's a big chocolate bar. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Good. We went to see this movie. It was so scary. Oh, really? And there was these. <laughs> Zombies barfing out blood. Barfing? Went all over the place. And, and we got these. And, and we went to the mall and, and we played zombies. I yelled, give me, give me, and they ran after me. Okay. Come on, let's play zombies some more. No, come on. No more. Come on. Charlie, yeah, no come more on. Zombies. Come on. No. Yeah. I'm all zombied yeah. out for yeah. the day, brother. Uday and Kuse, eh? What about them? They're gone. Really? Yeah, the uh, Americans got them. They found them in a house in Mosul and just they surrounded use, the place. Did they use a cruise missile? Uh, well, no, they used the Task Force 20, a group of Delta Force commandos and CIA guys. Hundred of them just showed up, knocked on the door, they shot back. You know what's funny? They got a tip, okay? They got a walk-in. Like a guy walks into the cop shop and says, uh, I know where they are, can I please have my 30 million dollars? 15 million bucks a guy. Some guy is going to get like a check, and they said, we're looking forward to handing out a check for $30 million. Really? Yeah. Huh. Saddam's are just, they're going to get Saddam with that. Osama too, probably. Huh. You know what's strange? You ever notice how, basically, this is just like, you know, repeating a pattern of history? It's like, uh, you know, the a ancient kings or the, or, or, or the kings of, of, of England, you know what I mean? You've got like, it's like the War of the Roses or something, okay? You got like, uh, you got like George Bush Sr. fights Saddam Hussein, okay? George Bush Sr. wins, Saddam Hussein loses, okay? Saddam Hussein tries to kill George Bush Sr. in Kuwait a couple years later, when George Bush Jr. is president. George Bush Jr. now kills the kids of Saddam Hussein. Do you see what I mean? It's like this cycle of revenge that could build forever. Or a really bad soap opera. Yeah, I suppose. I don't watch those, though. Who does? Come on. What's going on? Uh, Working on this resume, trying to 
I got a Agnes has been crawling on my back for this promotion. Get this promotion. Get this promotion. Oh, that's great. I'm just fiddling with my resume so I don't get it. You know, Liz, no matter how many books you read, it is nothing like the real deal. You, right, Johnny? Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> like, you know, the, no book is going to, to prepare you for any of the things that are going to happen, and each baby is different. Well, I think you, I think you can get prepared. I mean, the, these are people who understand child rearing and what a, what a child needs. I mean, I, I'm, I know, for one thing, I'm planning just a very structured household with kind of a gentle discipline, and and uh, then they'll feel very safe and secure and can express their emotions. Oh, and, a structured oh, household. What's can, that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> they can express their emotions all right. Like uh, one time we were out and uh, Daniel, this is when he was little, and uh, he started belly aching and crying and screaming bloody murder in the restaurant. Well, what do I do? This has happened before. Am I going to go home and just forget about it and ruin my evening to, to punish him? No, it's like, fine, you want orange pop, you drink orange pop, and just keep drinking it. Make yourself sick on it. Oh, yeah, Maybe he you'll did. learn that. Because you know what? Right now, inside your belly, there's a baby reading a book on how to run your life. <laughs> on how to be the boss, I, you know? I don't that's think right. that's true. They're <laughs> probably smart. By giving them the orange pop, though, you're giving in their, to their demands, and just, they're going to well, be spoiled and At least I had a nice evening. I mean, he peed orange for days, but big deal. Lucas, what were you thinking? You took an eight-year-old boy to see 28 Days Later. Isn't that movie restricted? You know what? He didn't even see the scary parts. He was in the washroom. Let's play zombie. Okay. Why? I can't play right now. Okay. Probably crying with fear. You can give me my candy apple. Unbelievable. You know what? You've had enough. Okay. Give me my candy apple. Lucas, how much candy has this kid had? Give me my candy apple. Okay. Just, just one bite, and that's it. Ah. It's good. Yeah. I don't know about that. There's example. Okay, that's enough, okay? Give it to me. Hey, oh, hey, stop that. Stop okay. that. Charlie! I said stop it. Ribbit. Oh. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, that's hideous. <laughs> Check this out. Now I'm going to be Prime Minister. Looks like you farted and he's really happy. <laughs> oh, you gotta love these guys. His, his eyes are addressing me. Just, okay. He's, he's staring, no. Okay, look, why don't you want this job? Because it... You are a young man who's about to be married. You're gonna have a family. You're gonna need more money, okay? You're you know, gonna I, need to invest in your future. We've had this conversation well, before. I understand that, I understand that. Yeah, I might need more money later on especially the way Agnes is spending it. But that being said, I mean, I don't want this position. I mean, it's it's a managerial position. I have to supervise people. I gotta be one of the guys that I make fun of on a regular basis, okay, one of those so stuffed suits. If that's the case, if you're ready to kiss all this goodbye, then why are you filling out a, a, a new resume? Well, I'm not. I'm screwing up my present resume so it looks like I'm a moron. Putting in typos, uh, misspelling simple words like the computer, uh, you know, I'm just- How do you misspell the? Teh, T-E-H, it's a common typing error that some computers correct automatically, but I switched that feature off on this. Now I'm just working on my education, 93 to Edu 95. Edumacation. Edumacation, that's good. All right, children are wild animals, right? Okay. The only thing separating us from monkeys yeah. is clothing, right? <laughs> and also a uh, fork and knife. Okay. The fact that we eat with cutlery. Okay, and they need to be tamed, right? Monkeys need to be tamed, right? If you tamed a chimpanzee, you know, you might be able to turn it into a child. And you know who's doing the taming? The mother. Yes. You know, and it's like, if you have three kids, you have four kids. One's a husband. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I've eliminated Hello? The... <laughs> hey, oh, the ladies, all right? I'm yeah. sitting right here, all right? I do tons. Really? I do tons really? for charity. Absolutely, yep. What do you do? I coach softball. Coach the softball hurt? team, huh? Is oh, that... sure. Minus minus one player. Remember my boss, Murray there, was telling you about there? Yeah. His daughter's on the team there. I had to kick yeah. her off the team for mouthing off, eh? That's oh, what good. I do. That kind of thing. F and this, F and that. Swear we're here. Swear we're there. I'm like, you sit down until your mouth cleans Okay, up. okay, but what does Jeez. it do around the house that actually 
helps charity in the rearing of your children? Well, when she's putting the food away at the end of a meal, I'm like, don't bother, honey. I'm going to eat that right now. Okay? Oh, that's. I eat the leftovers, that's right? That's right. When I'm watching hockey, I let the family watch what they want during the commercial break, sometimes. <laughs> I think my point is made. Yeah. You know. I think, I think we can rest our case. I think so we've all made our points here. You're not going to have time to read that book. You're going to be too busy. So uh, tomorrow night I'm going to this uh, the 15th anniversary of the Canadian Film Center. You know, Norman Jewison's uh, school there? Yeah. They're having this uh, party on the patio. They're doing this groovy outdoor screening of Send Me No Flowers with Doris Day and Rock Hudson doing the 60s style kind of, you know, go-go dance party afterwards, and I thought if you weren't doing anything, you might want to uh, you come along, you know, just... Is that an apology, Lucas? No, Lucas. that's an invitation. Thanks, I have plans with Enzo, feeling... or Caveman, Lorenzo, feeling whatever you sick. want to call him. You're feeling sick, honey? What about you, Shannon? Uh, what are never you doing? mind that, yeah. Charlie, Lucas. are you okay? Ah, oh, no, he's fine, eh? We just had a long day, a little too much sugar, play with that, you'll be fine. Mommy and Daddy. Mm-hmm. You hear that, Lucas? The child well, wants his daddy. Yeah, but I heard Mommy. Do you guys know, like, Ooh. what do you do here? Like, Okay, he needs to you... go to the bathroom, Lucas. Take him to the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, but I got, like, a queasy stomach and stuff. Maybe... Well, get you... over it. He's gonna throw up. up. Take hurry him. up, Lucas. Hurry okay, up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't have time to do it with anybody else's sick baby. I'm gonna go sit over there. Well, looks like uh, Lucas could use some help with Charlie there, huh? Yeah. Maybe, maybe Liz, you could get some practice in. Yeah, I, no, I don't think I need any practice. I'll have enough practice on my oh, own, thanks. Nothing worse than a sick kid, though. You can you can use all the help you can get. Mm -hmm. Remember one time, uh, Tammy there, she was only 10 months old, had pneumonia, was in the hospital oh. with charity. All right, I'm by myself. I got to go back home and take care of Crystal, who was like two at the time. Man, I was sick myself, eh? Yes. Wiped out. Granny McLaughlin shows up, saves my butt. I was like, thank you so much. Thank oh, you so wow. much. You know, you need all the help you can get at that point, right? Yeah. Well, you know, and, and men, frankly, just don't have the same stamina as women do for things like that, oh, you know? No I mean, way. Doug has very, very weak wrists. One time, Luke had locked himself in the bathroom, and Doug, he was prying at the door and snap, snap, and that was it. And we, Luke had to finally crawl out the window, and he came and bandaged Doug's wrists up. So I always, uh, always suspected Doug was a bit limp-wristed there. No, but hey, you know, single motherhood though, I gotta say, unbelievable. I don't know, I don't know how you're gonna do it. I take my hat off to you, because when I see mothers who do it, it's incredible. They deserve a medal. Thanks, Johnny. It's so. going to be very difficult, huh? Being a single mother all by yourself, huh? I'm not gonna be all by myself. I'm gonna have a no pair. What? Hey? A nanny. Oh. Okay, so Randy, you do not want this promotion, I no. take it? No, no, not, not at all. Because you have completely botched this resume. Yeah, yeah, I've done it on our purpose. Yeah, we're well, the thing is, you know, I'd have to leave my team, my, my guys, my friends, the Killer Bees, you know, Bruce, Brad, Ben, and uh, Blair behind, and they're, they're great co-workers, and I'd have to switch to another department, another building altogether, and I'd have to drive to work. And I don't I like... I wouldn't get to see you on the train. Yeah, and you wouldn't get to see me on the train. I'd miss you guys, too, yeah. so I'd want that. That's why I'm doing this. Right. So what have you got down there? Just lots of typos? Typos. I've added a hobby section to my resume. Listen to oh. this. <clears throat> including Sorry. skeet shooting, curling, ballet, dancing, tap and jazz dancing, lint weaving, the international dust collecting team. <laughs> I am a five-time gold US? medalist in the bathroom break Olympics. Oh. Uh, my specialty is stall sitting and newspaper reading. So what, are you nice. just going to send this to them or do you have to drop it up? What if they want to interview you? Huh? Yeah, what are you going to do then? Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, Mr. Cole, uh, we're very happy that you're here today. Uh, what's your, uh, why, why do you think you're right for this position? Uh, no speak English. Oh my god. <laughs> that would do it. Yeah. Uh, okay, <clears throat> if, if you don't speak English, Mr. Mm -hmm. Cole, how is it that you've worked for uh, our company for, for all these years? How did that ah. happen? Firing mistake. I get transfer and raise from you. I like pornography. Use internet all time. Oh. Okay. No pictures of buxom brown. Okay, mm. you might want to draw the line though, Randy. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna get you fired. Yeah, you won't like just get a bat yeah. out of hell. Yeah, you'll lose your job. You'll lose your job. Anyway. You have a very nice time. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
That's it, buddy. Get it out. Oh. Yeah, let it out. Are you done? Hey, you done? Oh, gosh. Oh. You okay? about a very similar story two weeks ago. This kills me. In America, this woman left her daughter in the car and it got up to 120 degrees. Of course, the daughter died. She's been Idiots. sitting there for five hours or something. It seems like uh. that happens every year. Where well, I mean, it happens every in Montreal, year. right? Like I was saying, I mean, this happened to this guy in Montreal. He, he's rushing around, he's got to do all these things, and then, you know, by accident, this is the thing, by accident, he makes a mistake. Man. He leaves his kid in the car and he, he parks his car. What a mistake. How, yeah, what a how mistake. can you make yeah. that mistake? You forget your keys, you forget your wallet, you forget where you parked well, your car, but you do not forget your child. I heard his routine got all messed up because usually they dropped off the kid, then his wife, then he goes to work. And then instead they reversed it, dropped off the wife, and he just went to work. He was messed well, up. Well, now they're going to charge the guy with manslaughter. And frankly, I, I, I don't think that's right. I mean, the guy's going to be punished enough, you know what I mean? Like that's his it. kid's dead. He killed his own kid and he didn't mean to. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going to bring the kid back. Well, you know what? It, it doesn't matter. If you have a child, you need to be responsible. There's a point when kids are around, like, between, like, two to six, where you can tell them anything. They are, true. They are it, completely it, it gullible. True. Well, sure, they're, they're still developing. They don't know. You can trick them. You can totally trick them. Watch this. Watch no, this. No, 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 no. No, no, it's cute. It's really cute. You're going to love it. It's darling, eh? It's to it's simply darling. This is on your list. <laughs> Charity always says that. Hey, Chair. Yeah. Uh, is uh, is Mariah there? Mariah's the one. Can Mariah. you put her on for a second? Two. All right, watch this. She thinks it's I live in the time. Phone, it's, it's bedtime. Hey, Mariah. Yeah, it's Dada. Hey, baby. Hey, monkey butt. Yeah, Dada's in the phone. Yeah, I'm in the phone. Oh, Johnny. Yeah, <laughs> she loves it. Oh, she does. Yeah. Huh? Oh, it's so hot in here. Oh, no, no, don't put no, no, no water, no water for Dada. No what? Oh, I think she's pouring water on the phone right now. Wow, well, I'm sure she is. <laughs> she's freaking out. Yeah, Dada's in the phone. Okay, that's. Fine. Yeah. Oh. Hey, chair. Oh, sure, yeah. and while she's getting all wound up, sorry Chastity about that. has to deal with I didn't know she was going to yeah, pour Chad, water on Charity's the phone. on the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Probably reading her story. And all right, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now she's wound up like an eight-day clock. Now she's all rangy. Well, I, my mother used to say, you kids yeah. are rangy. No, it's good to get them up. Gets their, uh, gets their heart rate going. Not before they're going to bed. You want no, them calm. Quiet story it's time. Gonna be running right. Now you leave Chastity with all the work. Charity. Well, you leave her with the work, too. Well, what are you going to do, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mom's to the rescue. So, you don't want this job that pays better. Uh, why are we going through this whole trouble of redoing your resume, a mock interview, blah, blah, blah? Well, blah, blah. long story short, it's for Agnes. I mean, I thought I had dodged the issue before, but after yesterday's meeting with Murphy over there. Absolutely. She, uh, she opened up a huge can of worms, and now it's a big issue. Now she's really pushing me to get the job. And you know, I don't, I don't get it, Randy. No he, <laughs> I met her yesterday, finally, after all this time, and she seemed like a, a she's a beautiful, very, very friendly woman. <laughs> she, yeah. And what, what are you talking about? I'm you don't sorry. even know her. You just sat beside her, and you think you know her. Trust me, but, I thought the same thing. I thought that too. But she's like, she's stealth. Let me tell you, you think everything's fine. It's me. She didn't get a chance to meet her. I really wish I had. Oh, she has a way of being God. able to like get what she wants, basically. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I mean, it's just, look, it's there's another side of Agnes that you you didn't see, and uh, but you know, I love I love her, and you have to love everything about her. Yeah, I, I no, choose no, to love no, her. No, no, so you don't you don't have to love everything that. about somebody. That doesn't make any sense at all. No, but you have to accept yes. parts of them that well, you may not exactly that I'm you not. may hate. Okay, well, so what you a hate? Word. No, you fear. can you can hate or fear ninety percent of somebody, 
but there still can be like a magic 10% that just drives you wild. You know what I mean? Yes, you can! We're not talking about the sexual 10%, are we? No, 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 no. I'm talking about love here, okay? <laughs> Above the belt. <laughs> yes, yes. The 10% is all you need. A pretty good 10%, yeah. Yeah. But she, I, she got a sweet 10%? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, no, I'm not, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not talking sex I'm not talking sex Don't answer that Look, question. Look, it's just, you know, you don't oh you don't see her all the time. So, you know, No, I don't. I love her. And if I did, that would be strange. <laughs> Excuse you. Oh. I'm in trouble. Oh, surprise. Hello. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Put her on. <clears throat> hey, baby. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Daddy's not in the phone. I'm on the train. Choo choo. I'll tell you one other place that men should perhaps not frequent. Where? The delivery room. <laughs> oh my gosh. Doug, he had the best intentions. I mean, we did the Lamaze class together, the whole nine yards. But I was in labor for 36 hours, and when it got down, oh, I'll tell you, it's longer than what you think. When we got down to the crunch, Doug, he was just too overwhelmed, and he passed out completely right there in the delivery room. Out of it. Out of it, cracked his head open, had to get stitches, but, oh and I'm there, whoo, pushing, pushing, you might have been pushing. on your own. Well, <laughs> well, no, you know what? To Doug's credit, he managed to shake it off, and he got up and was there, grabbed onto my hand, and he was there for that final push, and, and Daniel was born. So, you know, I mean, I was so glad he was there. I mean, he might not have been there for the breathing and all that, but, uh, he, uh, he was there for the real Bye. thing. Hey, you feel okay? Uh, yeah, so can I have some more candy? Oh, no, 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 you don't want any more candy. Oh, come on, just no, candy. No, 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 you've had enough today. You just relax. I demand you to give me some more candy. You, the zombie. Who, me, zombie? Yep. I'm not a zombie. Yes, you are. I'm not a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> no more candy. 